hallelujah your winning strategy for someone your life was built on sacrifice don't stop it because you have now become great don't stop it your life was built on prayer your life was built on the word there are some of you you have a covenant with god every time it is two or three days to your birthday you go for a retreat now that you are a big man make sure people do not distract you when it's your birthday they will say um they slaughtered chicken or cow will you die if you don't eat it they should eat it on your behalf with love after you meet with god or they should re they should refrigerate it for you you will eat it after the retreat you go back to your god and your maker lord i am here again i started meeting with you when i was 18 years i am now 50 years and god will say you are still coming yes sir i'm still here i have given you global visibility you are still here yes sir and god says let's go to the next level listen to me if you don't keep this principle there are consecrations and covenants that protect anointings and protect impact every time you see glory turning to shame somebody has left his covenant with God and men can distract you you can forget your winning formula John G Lake was crying A. A. Allen I mean, was crying for the healing anointing he said God how, what does it take to carry the healing anointing he went inside the room he looked at his wife and said honey you will not see me again for the next one week don't feel bad I, I will not come out until God speaks to me he entered and shut the door and prayed and cried and God gave him seven secrets he said if you keep these secrets there is no sickness you will not heal he came out rejoicing and told his wife I found it found it when you see men do the things that they do I remember truthfully speaking those days when I would see men of God park stadiums park meetings it, it looked to me as if I said, how do it, how do these guys get people to even hear them I mean in my naive do, is it publicity they use what does it take for people to come and crowd themselves like this Abba until I found out that the secret behind every glory bar are many covenants and many consecrations there is someone God is calling you today and saying there was something you did that you never lacked Anytime your money is about to finish, God will wake somebody. But now you are literally begging. You are a shadow of your yesterday. Return back to your covenants. There is a winning secret God gave you. I'm telling you this as a prophetic word. God is saying return back. Return back to the covenants. There are people who were once powerful. They are no longer powerful. No. Zero power. It's gone. Worship people. Some of you, the secret behind your receiving songs was to lock yourself at least a few minutes, a few hours in a week. That's your time with God. You carry your keyboard or your, your guitar and you lie down before the Lord and cry. Make sure as God lifts you, you don't just say I'm a popular person. You will write a song that is so nice and nobody will listen to it because the presence factor is missing. Who am I speaking to? Someone needs to repent. God is showing you this is why your glory has gone down. This is why your glory has gone down. This is why the glory of your ministry has gone down. This is why your impact has gone down. Once the presence factor is missing, once the winning formula is missing there are things you must keep doing to keep seeing the glory there are things you must keep doing to keep seeing the glory hallelujah at the beginning of every year without fail there are things i do there are things i do by the spirit there are things i do 
by the spirit maybe there are only a few times i enter every new year from an old year praying in tongues is tongues that transits from 12 to that new year there are if for any reason i have missed it maybe it's not once maybe i was in a meeting until the next year came new year 31st to first no you can't be playing as soon as that year lands i'm commanding january already i'm commanding february because in this ministry by 6 31st of december 6 p.m on the dot west african time the prophetic word for the next year comes so once we go on break as we are enjoying break me i'm not doing break i'm waiting before god to say what is the the the, the leading for the next year and before the 30th or 28th to 30th there must be now there are people who don't believe in prophetic words that's all right i respect whatever revelation but this is how god has guided us when he said it was a year of open doors this year we believed him and the results have spoken for themselves hallelujah it's in this kind of atmosphere i lie down in his presence Shabba katabata. lord there are millions of people depending on this direction what are you saying oh god what are you saying oh god turn the plates upside down you are signing your register for the relevance of the next season just because you are relevant now i tell you believe this does not mean you will remain relevant i have seen people with all humility rise at the cutting edge of ministry at the cutting edge of business you would never imagine with all due respect there are musicians today worshipers today you almost don't know where they are again please everybody go back and ask the lord what is the secret behind the glory that you have placed on my life there are many men of god here don't just be allowing people clap for you and say ah you are a powerful man of god you are joking you are just two years in ministry and you are bragging you don't know the challenges and the and the mountains even those who are standing they were shaken talk less of you that is already shaking without a wind take away that pride and sit down and say lord what is the formula you are giving me there is a covenant i have with god it is impossible for me to lack what to preach on sunday it's not just because of study i tell you this it is a covenant with god there are things i do with god what he wants the people to hear on sunday must be there on time if you think it is easy go and be preparing six messages every week you will be tired one day you will preach everything you know and you'll be tired but not when you are standing on this i have a covenant with god provided i am standing doing ministry i will never ever break down maybe when i'm done i can sit down and rest but when that anointing is on me i can stand and preach till the next day if i were pretending this bar i would have died by now believe me when you see extraordinary results i'm teaching you something there is a covenant with god that this ministry will never beg and never borrow till jesus comes this is not about prosperity oh this no 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 is someone learning in one minute i'd like you to raise a cry from heaven and say father grace upon my life where have i thrown away my winning formula you gave it to me in the secret this is what made me a millionaire you gave it to me in the secret and i conquered the financial realm right now my world is shaking thou son of david have mercy on me someone pray someone pray someone pray someone pray
Where you have violated your winning strategy behind the exploits of men in the spirit, behind the exploits of men in destiny, there are secrets, there are covenants. Take a minute to pray. Skata prakata balakata bos. Skata balanta baka so prakata balakos yata. For in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Never forget this secret. If you do not want to answer the name Ikabod in your lifetime, find out the secrets behind your glory and protect it. Sit down. Number five. Are you ready? Hmm. I sense that there's going to be a mighty impartation. I tell you, God is, God is shaking someone from the core of your spirit. There is a man of God. You came here to hear this thing. This thing I just said. God is telling you this is it. I've answered you. I've answered you already. I've answered you. This is what you left and with it the glory went. This is it. Le Leviticus chapter 9 and verse 6. And the Lord said unto Moses, This is the thing which the Lord commanded that ye should do and the glory of the Lord shall appear unto you. You want to see the power of God? You want to walk in signs and wonders? No. There are things if you do not understand, it will remain like a movie. This thing is not magic. Not everybody is fake. No. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, the Bible says that unto principalities and powers that it will be shown the manifold wisdom the manifold wisdom you don't look like it but that's why it's called his grace you don't look like it until his hand comes upon you and they say why you and you say go and ask him oh go and ask him go and ask him i'm motivating somebody and i'm speaking to you let me tell you something brothers and sisters god is dependable kill fear in your life when we start to pray i like you to pray with all your heart and as you pray, I'd like you to trust God. You may feel the pain of the sickness. But as you pray, you warn it and say, just a few minutes. I will only be patient with you for a few more minutes. And you are leaving my body and living forever. You may not be sick in your body, but you have myriads of issues that only God can step in. Financial issues, health issues. I'd like you to bring it before the God of your salvation. And say, God, I know you are able, Lord. I don't know how you would do it witchcraft in your family demonic things and say lord it will end i know it i know it no job no destiny no joy you say i'm i'm before you i'm not before a herbalist i know my god is able open your mouth in one minute personally talk to him if you have to talk to him in your language go ahead <laughs> Those outside pray. Lord, I believe you once again. Hallelujah. I believe you once again. The God of my salvation. The God of Jeshuron, I believe you again for my family. I believe you again for my academics. I believe you again for my marriage. I believe you again for my children. I believe you for my finances. It is still my year of triumph. It is still my year of triumph. It is still my year of triumph. You are dependable. You are reliable. Talk to him. Tonight is a night 
where my dreams are coming alive again that anointing that ministry that business in the name of jesus in spite of the mockery in spite of the shame in spite of the mistakes in spite of the setbacks in spite of the failure i arise like a giant rejoice not over me my enemies though i fall yet will i rise yet will i rise my god is still alive i know his name jesus the son of the living god pray i came to him the one who can change my life change my ministry You are here working miracles. I worship you. I worship you. You are here wiping every tear. I worship you. I worship you. Way may miracle walk, promise me light in the darkness. That is who you are. Way may God, way may miracle walk, promise me light in the darkness. In the darkness. Listen, listen to me don't ask how it will happen when i stepped in i heard i heard i think it was mary i have followed the issue of her dad when some of us here are related to police people and all of that i'm just using her story for an illustration when she told me about the miracle that happened i said god i fear you because what was happening they were supposed to shoot and kill her dad that's the punishment for the supposed offense but when he steps in this my god god is not a man oh god is not your neighbor god is not a landlord god is not a president he's not a governor god is not an ambassador god all by himself when he steps in all of a sudden he begins to shift things listen brothers and sisters hear me i want you to believe god to shift things this is this is my assignment believe him to push things in your life in one minute i like you to mention every challenge you came here with and say lord i believe you you will change it go ahead Go ahead and pray. Lord, I believe you. You will change my financial situation. Lord, I believe you. You can send helpers my way. Men are still on earth. Lord, I believe you. You can lift me. Lord, I believe you. You can give my life speed. If you came here for this service tonight, pray. Pray. I believe you. <laughs> Hello, him out of night. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Hello, ye Madonna, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Hello, ye Madonna, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Hello, ye Madonna, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Hello, Kimato, Nato, 
Hallelujah. Tonight is the last miracle service for the year. Please, I don't want you to miss out on anything. There is a very, very strong anointing to bring performance. Performance. Listen. Listen. Listen to me, please. Now, you see, because of the nature of the miracle service, some of you want I may not be able to call everybody one by one to speak to you the purpose of calling is just to give the holy spirit room to address as he brings but let me tell you this i've told you again and again calling people and talking and all of that is you can see how, how much time sometimes can be spent talking to one person the most important thing is that your faith is released to say lord turn my life around listen don't pray a cheap prayer tonight lord turn everything around 180 degrees turn it around turn it around turn it around let my life change it is within your power to make it happen hallelujah hallelujah now listen we're going to start tonight praying for the sick first there is a very strong healing anointing in this place and we're going to pray for the sick brothers and sisters i want you to believe god that any demonic thing that has latched onto you it must leave you sickness is not the will of god not near it are we together sickness is not the will of god and shortly i'm going to be asking sick people to come out in all of the overflows i want us to focus on sick people and pray all the other things we can do a quick work but it takes a lot of time to minister to the sick and we're going to do this very fast but i want you to maintain an attitude of prayer but before then i want you to lift your hands please i want to pray lift your hands i want to pray tonight is a night of breakthrough we are coming there, but I have to pray. I have to pray for breakthrough. Hallelujah. Just keep your hands. Don't say anything. Don't do anything. Hallelujah. Keep your hands, please. Let's just walk with the Spirit of God. Breakthrough. The Lord is bringing breakthrough. Now, when, when you hear me say this, it's not just about those who fall under the anointing and shout. The falling under the anointing is just an evidence. It, it doesn't, it has totally nothing about, it's for you to receive. It doesn't mean that you see someone fall under the anointing and say, wow, this is the one God is touching. No, I'm teaching you how to receive. You receive by faith. It has nothing to do with falling or not falling. Are we together now? You receive by faith. What is breakthrough? The grace that smashes the limitations that stands before you so that you move forward. There is a grace that does that i want to pray for you now jesus i see fire that's what i'm seeing this is this is I'm, i don't know what kind of flame what color this is now but i'm seeing that grace inside and outside right now i stretch my hands it's coming on people right now receive it now don't worry i stretch it just keep your hands lifted right now it's coming on people overflow one two three right up those online is a grace don't say anything just lift your hands that grace is coming on people i'm telling you i'm seeing doors these are like doors I, i've seen this many times but these are like chains chains doors opening i'm stretching my hands to you right now let's just allow god do what he's doing shabakata the breakthrough grace the breaker anointing changing people's lives changing people's lives changing people's lives 
right now in the name of Jesus receive it all over this building all over the overflows all over the overflows enough is enough enough is enough of those challenges thank you Jesus thank you Jesus keep your hands lifted don't worry we're going to do a, a quick walk God is bringing something he's still bringing breakthrough and the Lord is telling me to tell those people that this grace is coming upon I'm hearing in my spirit December 2nd this is from now till that time December 2nd a strange walk strange walk of the spirit strange walk the breakthrough grace the breakthrough grace the breakthrough grace you don't have to bring them out we're going to ask the sick to come just hold them breakthrough grace I stretch my hands breakthrough grace there are families that must enter this anointing now enough is enough said the Spirit of God there are families that must enter this anointing I provoke that grace let it cross borders in the spirit and go to families families Shabbatakata. families Lord bring them into this grace families the overflow three I'm seeing God touch a lot of people there this breakthrough anointing overflow three overflow three there is a strange move of the spirit happening there God is touching people this breakthrough anointing many of us need breakthrough we don't even know we need it impossibilities turning impossibilities turning breakthrough breakthrough let's just allow that grace land and we'll pray for the sick breakthrough you will be surprised to see the testimonies that will rise from it breakthrough I stretch my hands again breakthrough that grace that grace that grace Shabbata Skapara Shubreskelea breakthrough that breakthrough grace I'm seeing a few people I'm seeing fire rising from their feet this is still breakthrough this is still breakthrough fire rising like from a man's legs upward fire at least 17 people I'm seeing scattered across in the name of Jesus let it rise Lord their destinies are the mercy of these encounters let's just participate and allow the Lord do what he's doing Parakota Segedekata Sholeasa Mabreketea is a river that fire burning every chaff is a year of triumph. It must happen to you. It must happen to you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now we're going to pray for the sick. I'm praying for the sick first because the Lord is going to move in a very, very prophetic way in this place tonight. And I want us to pray for the sick very fast. Now watch this. Please, if you're sick in your body, you came here for a miracle. Overflow, um, let's see, those in overflow one, those under the anointing, just let them be. Those in overflow one, you're going to come out here. Um, okay, inside i'm part of overflow two the ones at the roadside maybe half of it you can join them and come here if you are trusting god for a terminal disease now a terminal disease is something that is somewhat a death sentence please whether you are in overflow one two or three i want to lay hands on you by myself a terminal disease a termin that means something that is a death sentence you know maybe uh, hiv aids or a cancer or something like that and please don't just come let's not crowd this place there are ministers that are going to be ministering overflow one come um out at your projector stand inside here come out part of overflow two join them and then the remaining go to the front of your projector outside overflow three i want all of you to come up and we're going to pray very very fast it's going to be a very quick walk god bless you quickly please come now you're coming out come and line up here quickly 
quickly overflow one please come out quickly while they are doing that i like us to begin to pray and say father let every sickness represented here bow to the name of the lord jesus lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray let every sickness bow to the name of the lord your people have come to you the healer as we worship in your presence there is healing the holy spirit's gentle touch is flowing jesus we believe jesus listen i want you to believe god for miracles so that you can be perfectly whole to serve the lord you must reject sickness from your life hallelujah praise the lord please pass away jimmy um let's see you go to overflow three you and promise overflow three i think there should be many more people if there are many more people there then we may add some other people um Ejimi and promise will go to overflow three um pastor alpha you are overflow two um benga and kenny you'll be at overflow one outside mike you join um whoever is you know going to overflow two i think that that would be okay those online release your faith go ahead guys in the name of jesus father we decree and declare let the corporate grace of the spirit flow in this place let there be signs and wonders through your holy son let there be miracles in the name of jesus let there be signs let there be wonders in jesus name i pray now please listen I don't want you to be distracted remain in that prayer mode as we pray for you i want you to check yourself i want you to do what you couldn't do even as you return to your seat and whilst they are praying god bless you guys go ahead no go fine mm -hmm. praise the lord and as soon as we pray then we're going there will be massive deliverance and prophecy here i want us to be as fast as possible the worship team will set the atmosphere for us please everyone i want you to pray you may be seated where you are you are trusting god for the healing of a loved one let's trust the healing anointing and let's let's tap into what god is doing right now father we give you all the praise let there be miracles in the name of jesus christ father we thank you let there be miracles Yeah. 
took them away. The chains and cords that held me bound. Hey, oh, Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Justina. Who is Justina? Justina. Justina. Time is gone. Justina. I'm hearing a name, Justina. We're going to enter a very strong session um, of deliverance and prophecy. We have to be very fast. I'm trying to conserve time. I'm hearing the name Justina. Justina. What's your name? Justina. You have this song that they just raised now. This song now, my beautifier. That's a song for you. That's what God is doing in your life. Stand up. You know how you make a woman up? Maybe when there's wedding or there's a program. I'm looking at plenty ladies gathering around you. And they're doing all these things for your face. Okay? This is... This is, are you married? God is opening the door of marriage for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Justina. Mama? Thank you, Mama. Justina. Hello, 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 precious saints of God. You're welcome to Reflector Hub TV. I want to assure you that as God's word is coming to you today from our apostle, Apostle Joshua Selman, I want you to know that you'll be, the Bible said something, 
that Mary was well favored. She received favor from God and from men. I want you to know that in this year, 2023, as you're connected to this our life brokers, that you will see favor, that God's favor will come upon you. See, God's favor is something that distinguishes you, that makes you different, that makes ways, that opens door that normally it cannot be open for you. As God's favor comes to you today, as God's word comes to you today via the apostle, I want you to know, I assure you that your life is changing, that things are becoming new in this year, 2024. You are walking into another dimension. Doors are being opened. You receive access for this year. I want you to just stay glue. Put your ears, stay glued to God's word, and I know your word is coming to you today. Thank you.